Hi everyone, my name is Mikhail Christian Tusha. I work as a software engineer at Hewlett Packard Enterprise on the Klaus Lang project. The scope of this video is to illustrate how to use Klaus Lang and the VMware content to create a virtual machine into a pre existing VMware data center. You can find the official web page of the CloudSlang project under this URL, cloudslang.io. I will choose to access a start button and I will find in the bottom of the web page this download section for Windows. And if I access it, I can download the latest released version, which is 0.9.50. I already downloaded the content on the certain location uh, on my local machine. As you can see, I will find here a syslang subfolder and also the content, IO, cloud slang and virtualization. And of course, under the virtualization folder, the content re uh, related to VMware and virtual machines. Now here I have this create virtual machine.sl which is a slang uh, file, the YAML that uh, triggers an action that actually creates the virtual machine. In order to open this uh, SL file, I will choose a free uh, text editor, I choose already the Atom, which is a a free offer from uh, GitHub. The things that are important uh, about the Atom, we have here a Klaus Slang language package extension that you can install. And of course, you will have access to the a certain uh, capabilities like auto completion, uh, highlighting, and so on. Now I will open the create virtual machine from the CloudSlang content. Like I said, virtualization VMware virtual machine, create virtual machine.sl. And I will find here in the description area that this operation performs a VMware vSphere command in order to create a new virtual machine. I will need to do a certain prerequisite steps I will need this VIM25 jar and because the fact of this jar is actually a property of VMware, I need to go to this URL and perform a registration. After that I will need to access this URL which is basically a download URL where I find a zip archive. Okay, I download it in here and then zip it in here. Let's find our VIM25 jar. We access SDK, vSphere section, Java, of course, Java. And under this lib folder, we should find our VIM25 jar. I will choose to copy it, go back to my location where I, I downloaded uh, the CLI with content and I unzip it, of course. And I will choose to paste the VIM25 jar under syslang and lib. Now we have it here. I go back under the syslang bin, of course, now I will launch the CLI. It has uh, 0.9.50 version, which is the latest release version. And now I will pass to the CLI a certain command that tells me to run the file that resides under this path with this name, with a certain class path, with those two input files. First of them, uh, it will contain all the um, inputs that I need and second, it contains username and password that I use to connect to the data center. I will not show the second uh, input file, but let's open the first one. Here, as you can see, we have our data center URL, data center name, 
a name of a certain host from the cluster within a data center, a name from, uh, from my virtual machine, let's say demo VM1, a short description for a virtual machine, I will choose a certain uh, data store within the data center. My machine uh, will need to have two CPUs, a certain disk size amount for the hard disk that is attached to, and of course a certain amount of memory. The last input guest to SID, it made a reference certain operation system descriptor that is support on the host name. I will choose to make a virtual machine that is ready for Windows 7 on 64 bits. I will choose to pass this command in the CLI and I will return to the data center in the tasks tab I shall see my command just to show my CLI command it's executed right now appears in here a create virtual machine and I will switch to the VM and templates tab and start looking for my demo VM. We all see that guest operation system descriptors is a Microsoft Windows 7 on 64 bits and also there are a few details that we need to confront to be sure that our command is uh, appropriate executed. As you can see we have uh, the two CPUs that we mentioned we have 8 gigabytes of memory as a memory amount and of course we have attached a hard disk that has almost 60 gigabytes of disk space. All these are present in this input file. Two CPUs, 60 gigabytes of hard disk amount, 8 gigabytes of memory amount and the guest OS descriptor. It's a Windows 7 64 bits guest. I would like to thank you all for your time and for watching this video. And of course, go to the CloudSlang repository on the GitHub and contribute on it. Thank you.